Well, many East Texans left with a big cleanup job after last night's storms. Their damaged homes, widespread power outages, and fallen trees all across the roads. Jesus Martinez joins us live this morning from Winsboro. Jesus, good morning. And what aftermath damage are you seeing? I see there's some damage right behind you. Hey, Mariah, yeah, this is one of the areas the chief, when we were talking to him earlier, was talking about major damage. We're maybe just a block or so away from downtown off a little side street here. I'm going to step away just so you can see the magnitude of this. It seems like it's like a metal roof that got peeled off what seems to be a barber shop here behind me. And you can see also this light pole here snapped in half. Now we're safely on the other side of the power lines, but you know, one big thing the chief tried to mention is I don't know if we have a car coming in through here, but maybe within the last 10, 15 minutes we've been here. We've seen maybe five or six cars try to wiggle in through the debris and the power lines. There's a power line. I don't know if it's able to see it. It's hanging down really, really low. So that's one of the things the chief was trying to say, saying, hey, don't drive if you don't have to be out here because it's areas like these around Winsboro that are dangerous to drive in. You know, other areas we saw earlier, which we'll take you on on our next hit, is there was a farmer's insurance uh, place right on the downtown. The whole window in the front just shattered and blown in. The curtain blown in as well. Lots of debris there too. But back to here, so far we haven't seen, thankfully, any vehicles. So far, I'm going to step out one more time just before I let you guys go to see at the magnitude of this. It's really just amazing to see what mother nature could have done and this is just devastating i don't know if you guys remember back a few months ago in the kilgore area there was a restaurant that had similar damage to the one behind me and those were from straight line winds as of right now we don't know what could have caused the damage whether it was a tornado or straight line winds as well but regardless severe damage here in downtown winsboro live in winsboro jesus martinez cbs 19.